I'm having a drink. Would you like something? Uh, mineral water, please. Sure. Well, what exactly do you have to say to me? Haven't you done enough harm already? I could do more. Go on. I suppose your private detective told you that I found out about the shop and the salesman that sold you that gold pin. What was his name? Bannerman? I have no idea what you're talking about. I went to see Bannerman again yesterday. What did Bannerman say? It's what he didn't say that convinced me to come talk to you. It's pretty good. The shop had an original design of the pen. I took it to Scoggins, and he identified it. Damn it, Teresa, don't improvise. I was gonna tell Barbara Evanson about, you know, I've been talking to her about you. I got to think, you know, maybe this thing isn't right. It's not fair that a man like you should have to go to prison for some tramp like Gloria Scoggins. You did know her, didn't you? How much did you have to pay Lapani to get on the jury? Who? The jury supervisor. <laughs> she was easy to crack. Scared. I'm surprised she didn't call you. Or did she? Anyway, um, I told her she should get a good lawyer. And if I tell all of this to Evanson, you need a good lawyer, too. And again, you already have one. I, I believe he said he's ruthless. Are you saying that you haven't gone to Edmondson? Not yet. Why'd you kill her? I didn't kill her. Come on, Mr. Gillette. I got you nailed. The brooch, the bribe, Bannerman. I even have a neighborhood boy that says he used to see your car in the back alley. How are you going to explain this to the DA? Why haven't you told Evanson? I wanted to hear your side first. Teresa, if I confide in you, will it be just between the two of us? I deny it anyway if you changed your mind. But since you managed to link me to Gloria, you are incredible, you know. I wanted you to know the truth. For both our sex. I loved her once. At least I thought I did. She was very beautiful, you know, in a special kind of way, but it couldn't work. Gloria Scoggins wasn't good enough for Clifford Gillette. She was married. And I, Joanna and I, were to be married, but I let it go on too long. And? And I went there that night because I wanted to explain to Gloria. I didn't care about the pin. I just wanted Gloria to understand. I just wanted to explain it to her decently, face to face. I let myself in, and the house was very quiet. Gloria, honey. And I thought Gloria was playing one of her silly little games, but I couldn't comprehend what I was seeing. So I went to her. I closed her eyes. And then I heard someone. Beaten to death. 
An innocent man goes to prison and you and Joanna live happily ever after. I did what I could. At least I didn't hang the jury. Good night, Mr. Gillette. 